Good morning, my name is Kui Cervantes and I'll be in the 8th grade this fall at Coombs Miller Creative Arts Academy. I'm excited to have you join me and to show you how DPS puts students first each day. Before I even get to school, I know our facilities team has made sure the school environment is fit for our learning. While our safety and security team has made it a place me and my friends can feel safe. DPS is huge. In fact, we are the largest school district in Colorado with more than 90,000 students. Did you know we would fill Invesco Field once, plus have 14,000 students in the parking lot waiting to get in? And this doesn't include the number of adults who work hard and collaborate every day on our behalf. As a student, I might not see all of them, but I know they are working hard to support me and all students. I know they live the shared core value of fun because I see the joy and passion many of them have for the work they do on our behalf. I think about teams like financial services, family and community engagement, human resources, student services, and the Board of Education. Our facilities team is the largest facility manager in the city after the city and county of Denver. And what about the transportation team? which manages more than 315 buses and transports 30,000 students across 1,100 routes each day. And my bus drivers, they are the greatest. I look forward to seeing them every morning and afternoon. We are the future leaders of this great city and we're learning to lead with integrity. Did you know DPS has graduated some great leaders and famous people? DPS is 156 years old, and in that time, our graduates have made significant contributions to our city, our country, and our world. Some of our well-known alumni include people such as Jag Swagger, who flew to the moon on Apollo 13, Gabe Ebert, a graduate of Denver School of the Arts and winner of the Tony Award, Philip Bailey from Earth, Wind, and Fire, Corky Gonzalez, who fought for equal rights, and Hattie McDaniel from Gone with the Wind and the first African American to win an Academy Award. And we certainly can't forget about our own mayor of Denver, Michael B. Hancock. I'm proud to be a part of such a living legacy. Our school secretaries are great. They know everyone and are there whenever we need them. And our principal, well, I know he's here for us too. He's a pretty busy man. He meets with our leaders from the central office teams to discuss programs and other resources to make our schools even better, as well as with the parents and other community members. Did you know that our food services teams prepare close to 30,000 breakfast meals, 48,000 lunches, and more than 6,500 snacks each day here in DPS? They cook from scratch and they prepare thousands of meals for our students through the summer meal program. They put students first to ensure we still have access to nutritious meals. I love my teachers and all the paraprofessionals who are there to support us each day. They work tirelessly to ensure we each get what we need and that we leave DPS ready for college and careers. I am so proud to tell you that my mom is a paraprofessional here in DPS as well. Just like my parents, all parents, families, and the entire community are very important to making sure students are prepared for the next chapter in our lives. It takes everyone working together to ensure every child succeeds. One of the things I appreciate most about DPS is the focus on equity and ensuring that students and families have access to what they uniquely need. We have traditional charters and innovation schools. The members of our choice and enrollment team make sure the students and families have the information they need to make a good choice to meet the needs of their students. We even have a school designed especially for teen moms where they can continue their education and have their little ones in the same location for daycare. With all this technology, I wonder how many people know the importance of our Department of Technology Services and Library Services team. Together, they provide online access to catalogs, an extensive central collection of classroom resources, as well as video, multimedia, art, music, and PE materials to our schools students in DPS have the opportunity to participate in after-school programs such as Kaleidoscope Corner, Debate, Athletics, just to name a few. You know, a lot of the extracurricular programs students in DPS are involved in wouldn't be possible without support from organizations like the DPS Foundation and other partner funders. So there you have it, a day in my life in DPS. There is no way I could show you each and every person in DPS who makes this possible but I do want to take a moment to recognize them.
and you. 